How's it going everyone? Nathan coming back at you with another showdown live. Been a little while since we did one of these and you know what? I have been playing this very fun Reuniclus team lately and it comes to us courtesy of Umbreon097 who used this team I believe in the official ladder tournament. I couldn't find the replay. I was going to show the replay but I was actually just messing around with it and I realized it would actually like the, I'm trying to show off what makes it so good. It's better just show you this in a random replay because it did well in the tournament match. Don't get me wrong. But what I love about this bulky offense team is it has an answer for like all of the top. Like I don't want to be salty sounding, but like all of the BS kind of uh, cheesy Pokemon that are really common in the tier right now. This is an answer for all of them. So I'm going to go to the stats. And if you look at a lot of this, the absolute top Pokemon in the tier right now. Pokemon like Dragapult, we've got an answer for that in Tyranitar and Togekiss. Clefable, we have Reuniclus, we have Exodrill, Rillaboom, we have Togekiss and Tangrowth. For Shifu, we have Togekiss, and if they use a uh, Fighting type move, we got Reuniclus. If they use Dark type move, they have, we have Tyranitar. Uh, if they go to Toxapex, we have Reuniclus, who's one of the best Toxapex counters in the world. Uh, Volcarona, we can just go straight to our T-Tar as long as they don't do the Bug Buzz set, and as long as we don't get Parrot or something, we can, we can normally take it out with Tyranitar. There's just an answer for almost all halucha sorry i must mention halucha you can just go straight to reuniclus if you keep it healthy and you can kill it with uh psychic at plus two it's really just got an answer for all of like the kind of crap that kind of clogs the tier sometimes i find it frustrating when there's so much ho it depends on what time you play actually it's funnily enough like sometimes if you play in the afternoon i find that ho players are a lot more prominent and not to disparage ho players but it just means that you have to play a very specific way of pokemon if you don't have like counters for all these little niche things then you get in trouble but, you know, if I run into a random King's Rock Cloister, well, odds are my Tyranitar is going to deal with it just fine. Or odds are I can just... And afterwards, I can just go to Exodrill and beat it with speed uh, with Sand Force there. So, I've really been enjoying this team. In the last couple of days, I've been playing it a lot. I've been having a lot of success with it. I'll post it in the description because I think it is very fun and very cool. And I'm going to show you this. This, this is a demonstration. If we look at, like, who what we're up against. Holy crap, this is an insane, like, murderer's row of Pokemon. Magnezone is one of the most impossible Pokemon to switch around in the entire metagame. And that's actually, you know, I, I say that as if I had a counter for it. This team actually has a little bit of a problem with it. And so in the lead matchup, um, I expected, it's an HO team. I expected the uh, Komo'o to be a rocker and to come out. Uh, I guess the Clefable could have been it too in retrospect. But I expected the Komo'o to come out. So I went to my Togekiss to beat it. Just to air slash it and beat it out right. But instead we see the Magnezone. Um, Magnezone, of course, destroys this Togekiss. I don't want to risk paraflinching this thing 10,000 times. So I go straight up to my extra drill. It balls everything except for body press. I go to that, uh, eats it. They read me completely on that play. Good work. Uh, I know I can take that though. And I do have leftovers to recover a little bit left. I'm just gonna earthquake to scare it out. Or Shifu, your Shifu takes a lot. And the only one that they had that would really take it well would be Rillaboom. Even then they're risking an iron uh, head and uh, Halucha, of course. But uh, I doubt they would go to that either. Cause if that thing gets chipped too early, they're in big trouble. So I'm going to swap around uh, from to or Shifu to Tokus, one of the best or Shifu counters in the entire game right now. I love its heavy duty defensive benefit just for that. I'm going to double switch the Magnezone because it's a bit obvious there. And then I'm going to go for free Earthquake on the Rillaboom. Probably not going to do too much, but I just want to let him know that be careful around this extra drill is a menace. Uh, it is the Sand Rush variety. And thanks to Grassy Surge, we're going to get up to 74. So that body press earlier does not matter. We're going to Tangrowth right away on the Rillaboom. I could have gone to Togekiss, but I wanted to keep it decent health, especially if it's swapping in Shifu a lot. Plus, Tangrowth on a U-turn uh, shrugs it off pretty well. And when you combine Rocky Helmet uh, and this thing's got Life Orb, they're taking more damage than I am because I'm going to Regenerator all of this off. Uh, Clayable's going to come in this time. I'm going to go straight to Extra Drill. I don't see a lot of reason not to. Otherwise, the Toxic comes in straight away. The only reason I wouldn't is if it's a Life Orb Flame uh, Thrower variant. You know, Rillaboom. I don't know why they go to Rillaboom this time because the Iron Head's very obvious. I'm not even remotely over predicting so far. Uh, they go to Rillaboom this time. I'm going to go Tangrowth again. I'm just going to reset the situation. They're going to Swords Dance, but I really don't fear too much. Uh, I can't do much in return, so maybe the Togekiss was a better answer there. But again, I was a little bit worried about a Shifu in that situation. They're going to go to a Shifu there. They're going to let it get knocked off. It's going to lose its Black Glasses. That's actually interesting. Because I've been thinking lately that one of the main things that hurts our Shifu is being Choice Locked. It's so powerful, of course, but that means you can get trapped in situations where I could go like Tyranitar on the Dark move and then Reuniclus on the Fighting type move and things like that. And that gives them more flexibility. But uh, now we're going to be able to completely shrug off that wicked blow. That's fine. Uh, I roost on the Magnezone. I, again, I knew there was a likely swap in, but I'd rather keep this thing healthy. Extra Drill realistically is only taking about 50% from Flash Cannon or Body Press. And the momentum I get back in return is so crazy. Rillaboom's going to die here. This will invite in the Halucha afterwards because this is the opponent's last chance to get in the Halucha. And they're going to do just that, I think, if I remember correctly. 
Yep, they're going to do that. Um, I'm not going to hesitate here. I'm going to go straight to my Reuniclus. Uh, I'm not going to let them Swords Dance. They do Swords Dance, but I can take one uh, plus two Acrobatics. Is that, that's exactly what happens. And the other reason why I wanted to show off this team is since the beginning of this generation, I thought, how the hell is Reuniclus UU? It makes no sense. This Pokemon is absurd. It's stacked up beyond belief. Magic, it's such a big Magic card generation, and it's one of the most prominent ones there is. I don't get it. And in truth, of course, the answer is, especially with their Shifu, there's a lot of dark types running around. There's a ton of ghost types running around. It's one of the best ghost type generations ever. So I, I've had a lot of trouble. I've tried myself to make Reuniclus teams and I can never really make it gel, which is too bad because I think it's a fantastic swap in on Clefable. I think Future Sight's really fun. Uh, Toxapex is one of the most controlling Pokemon in the world right now. And Reuniclus swaps into it better than just about anything. So I've been really trying to make it work. And so I saw this team when I was watching the SBL replays or, uh, OLT replay, sorry. And I just, I fell in love with it and I had to try. That's the, that the Reuniclus is the hook that got me on board here. And the fact that it counters how Lucha is just the mwah, icing on top. Um, they're going to Wicked Blow here. Uh, again, my Togekiss is just too clean of an answer here. I predicted they'd stay in and I get that with Air Slash. I wasn't going to risk a double switch to uh, Exodrill when I was this far up in the game. They're going to Magnezone. There's nothing they can do to my Exodrill at this point, except for like a crit that would really threaten me uh this earthquake's gonna do a ton to whoever they go to they're just gonna sack the magnezone uh then the fable comes out here i'm guessing no Kamo comes out and again the fact that this hasn't revealed itself to be a rocker tells me similar to the Kamo video i put out a week ago that okay this is probably uh an aggressive Kamo. so if it's clangor soul i want to attack it so it's down to like 30 percent health uh if it's uh body press i definitely want to stay in an and uh, earthquake so that it can't get enough health to do a uh uh belly drum afterwards that's the exact variant that we see here it does get the slack braid boost and probably will kill me with a drain punch right now and get a bit of health back but not enough uh my tokis will be able to pop off now they can't belly drum right now they'll get enough drain punch here to uh be able to belly punch if they want to but then they'll just be sacking themselves to air slash that's fine uh and we're gonna take this thing out and then clefable's no trouble either so the point of this team that i think makes it so so fun is just that Sure, bulky offense, I think, is actually tr tricky in general in this generation. And you can make the case that it is um, balanced because the, the line between balance and bulky offense is always thin. And this team has so much longevity and it's got so many uh, prominent defensive Pokemon that if you wanted to argue it's balanced, fair, more power to you. And what's really made this thing capture my heart is just the fact that it's got such good matchups and so many top Pokemon that it's just, there's, I feel like I've always had an answer. There's never a case of, oh, I don't have a Cloyster answer, I lose. Oh, I don't have a Volcarona answer, I lose. I always have something with this team, which is just... So reassuring. I have something in my back pocket for everything. I can play around anything. Um, okay, so we're going to see a pretty interesting HO team. We see some classic heavy hitters from HO on the left side. But the right side have kind of fallen out of the spotlight recently. Uh, Specs Charizard is common on Sun teams, of course. And Conqueror used to be a huge staple of pre-DLC. It was considered one of the best Pokemon in the meta. But it's also really fallen off. So this is an interesting uh, lead matchup to decide. The question is, what do we do about the very likely Excadrill uh, lead? Um, I could go Volcarona, um, and just do two fire moves. I could go to, uh, According to the World Health Organization, coronavirus disease, COVID nineteen. That's wild. Disease. My phone heard Volcarona and thought I was asking Google about it. That's a that's a new one. Okay, but we gotta think of an answer for Exodrill here. I think I might just do Tangrowth. Um, Focus Blast. Am I betting that a Focus Blast is hitting? Yeah, you're darn right I'm betting on it. We're taking no damage in return, so I like this idea. Um, and then I'll get Drain in return. Steel Beam actually did a little bit more than I thought. It's going to kill itself. That's fine. Pretty classic HO lead there. Um, Charizard will be invited in from that. Um, I don't think these things normally run a Focus Blast set, so Tyranitar should have nothing to fear if that's the case. Uh, it's Substitute. Oh, it's the Belly Drum set. Unfortunately for them, I have the best possible answer for Substitute, which is Rock Blast. Um, Stone Edge is, of course, so much better as a rock move for Tyranitar, but I just love that this gives you so much insurance against uh, substitute users. Uh, again, just like the common like <laughs> ladder crap. It just gives you a great matchup. Togekiss is going to come in here. Um, Togekiss, I think, is the best Urshifu counter in the game with the very specific caveat that you can keep your boots on. Because that's the thing. Like, Clefable's easier because you don't have to worry about someone knocking you off. But Togekiss, that's, that's extremely important if you want to continue to sustainably counter. Uh, and now I see four air slash weeks. This thing's just going to win the game for us. Rillaboom's going to die here. Oh, not quite. Um, do I want to keep this thing healthy? Or just want air slash? Because Grassy Glide's not going to do too much. And then I can shrug off the Halucha afterwards. Uh, Grassy Glide's fine. I wonder if that was banded or not. 
Helicia comes in. I'm going to force it to attack me right now. Hopefully, Air Slash doesn't miss. It crits us, but that's not going to matter. We got a whole Reuniclus just for it. Um, they could go to uh, their Urshifu. No, they're just going to sack it. Um, Urshifu might be troublesome otherwise, but we do have a uh, full health tank growth here. Um, I guess I'll keep the Reuniclus for Conkleder. Um, I'll go to Volcarone as far as sacks go. That seems fine to me. Um, yeah, Wicked Blow is going to do a ton. Uh, I might even burn it right here. Okay, that suggests to me that's Scarf, which is interesting. And the thing about Flame Bodies, that activates so much. I, I have done this exact play right there, right? Send out the Volcarona. <laughs> exact as my opponent's commenting here. I have done that exact play so many times, and it is wild how much that happens. Um, I, it's like Curium, uh, Curium Ice Beam has like an 80% freeze chance, and Volcarona Flame Body has like a 90% burn chance. It's really wild. Uh, I guess I will just Giga Drain or Focus Blast. I'll Focus Blast. I can take a lot of Wicked Blows, especially with my helmet on. Okay, we're going to knock that thing out. Um, Conkleder's going to come out. I'm going to knock it off so it can't get its Flame Orb up. And then we're going to win the game. Um, yeah, again, this team is just so good versus HO. I love it. Um, my opponent's upset about the uh, play here, but you know what? HO, I've, I've come across too much. I'm too jaded for it. Uh, we'll get another one. Uh, that's the thing. Like, this guy thought it was anti fun. My opponent thought it was anti fun. I think just running into a Volcarona and being like, oh, I don't have a Volcarona counter, I lose. Plus, I, I think bulky offense is a fun playstyle in general because you're playing aggressively. You're still trying to force uh, switches. You got to be smart with your own switches. Um, it's still offense. So, that's the thing. Like, you could argue this is balanced, but I choose to play it like bulky offense. Uh, it does have a lot of recovery. Roost, recover, uh, roost, regenerator. So again, you could easily make the case for that it's balanced, but I don't know. I think we'll go Reuniclus here, um, just because. Actually, I was gonna say because if it's a if it's a weather team, Pelipper is such a likely lead, but I don't know because this does not have any characteristics of a weather team. It's very uh, unique. Um, well, Tangrowth is not great against this flash cannon it's certainly not very good against gudra it's not good versus here uh, it's good versus these two but that's about it so don't like that lead uh toga kiss uh draw i guess it's okay there bad uh pulte guys i got this might be a banded pulte guys i've been playing enough ru lately to know what this thing generally runs um ttar is not bad actually ttar might be the play because i don't see a lot of things that really scare me because these are special attackers uh, I think I beat it the Pelipper for Sand. I think my Sand will beat its Rain. Uh, it's good versus Togekiss. It's bad versus Golurk and uh, Conkleder, but I have Swappins for both of those in Togekiss, namely. So I think that's the play. Uh, okay, this comes out, and we can eat the Flash Cannon really comfortably here, but I don't think I really want to. I think I'll just go X-Ray to Exedrill and not mess around, especially if it's not under a Balloon. Yeah, I don't see any reason to mess around here. Um, I'm just gonna Earthquake. I think a Pelipper leads very, uh, a switch is very likely there, but I just wanted to play it nice and easy. Um, I'll go to T-Tar. If this thing gets burned, I don't really care too much, and it resists the Hurricane really handily. Uh, they're gonna U-turn, fine. Um, that'll get out the Conkleder. Okay, we're kind of playing off the back foot. Um, I don't want to eat a Facade, um, with Reuniclus or a knockoff, but, I, uh, that's tough. I don't need a knockoff with my Togekiss either. I don't even know who the rocker is of my opponent. I guess the Golurk, but my read on it was that it was banded. So, I, because I don't know what, how else it would really have a lot of offense in this tier. Um, tank growth would probably tank things okay, but this is a conk with our burned. I guess there's there's no perfect play here because Reuniclus, I, I'm pretty sure, does not love uh, any non-fighting move. I guess Togekiss is the play. It's got a decent amount of defense investment. Okay, they do knock off. So this was kind of the play. If they don't have rocks, that was definitely the play, but it's hard to judge from there. Um, my opponent seems pretty quick to swap, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read the swap again. I'm gonna go to my Volcarona on the Magneton. Okay, we do hit that. Uh, I think I will Quiver Dance because if I get enough up, I don't really fear much from Pelipper unless it's Specs. I think I'm gonna double switch again because I I don't really love that Vol that Pelipper matchup in retrospect. So I think I'll double switch to Reuniclus here. Uh, they Volt switch on me. That was brave. I could have just ripped a quick whatever, but they they help me out and they go to Pelipper regardless and they U-turn okay I was hoping to hit them with the thunder uh don't go to Golurk like they probably are they're gonna Magneton again okay what was what's your game here what's your game here Pipitron um 
if it's analytic, I think I'm slower than it. So analytic won't factor. So I think I get this recover off for free. Um, this has been a really weird game. I, I just can't really get a read on them. And they're using a very unique team. Like looks like an RU team, frankly. Um, knockoffs coming off here. I'll go straight to Togekiss again. They facade me. Okay, why wouldn't you? Okay, they just get me. They get me. Um, now there's going to be a drain punch. I got to go to Tangrowth here on the, or sorry, a mock punch. Um, Kongo there is still strong. Maybe she's alive with this thing because it is still uh, doing a number on us. Um, okay, this is tough because Giga Drain is good on everything. Uh, sorry, Giga Drain is good on everything but these two and then I would want to Focus Blast. I don't know if they're going to stay in here. Uh, I'm going to predict a swap and I'll knock off here. Okay, they're going to Pelipper. Are we going to see if it's a spec set? Because that was the only reason I didn't stay in with my full Corona. Okay, it is a spec set. So there's definitely going to be a Hurricane here. I'll go to my Tyranitar. There's no way you Scald there unless they read me again, which they've been doing so far. They're just going to keep pivoting. Okay, so my opponent's a big over predictor. So I am down to keep assuming they're going to over predict. Um, I'll go to Tangrowth again. Facade will probably do a lot here, but I think I can kind of take it. Uh, okay, it's finally dead though. This thing's terrified me all game. Um... Now I can kind of rest easy. Uh, I guess I'll go to... I was going to say Tyranitar on the facade to resist it, but I feel like a Drain Punch is also likely. I'll Giga Drain. Just make sure this thing dies. This should kill, right? Come on. Yeah, with Burn and... Yeah, okay, okay. That was... This Conqueror there has terrified me. I come to this live with, like, this big claim of this can, this team can do anything. It can live any hits, but... Uh, all of a sudden, you run into one Conqueror there and we're in trouble. Uh, Poltergeist, uh, of course, not going to work on Tokius. That, again, suggests to me that it's, um, banded. So, Tangrowth is also going to be fine, then. Um, I could knock off if they swap. They should be swapping, because they know that I don't have an item on my Tangrowth, either. And if they're going to swap, they're going to be going to their Togekiss. In fact, I could Sleep Powder. The only one reason I wouldn't Sleep Powder is if they go to Gudra. Okay, they're not banded. Okay, they surprised me there. That's fine. Poltergeist is still really good on Golurk regardless. And we get the Sleep Powder through the Confuse, which is really lucky. Um, nothing loves this thing, really. Um, I don't love the idea of risking a Giga Drain through the Confusion. But we do it anyways, because apparently I don't <laughs> I don't care. Okay, they swap. Um, Pelipper is definitely... There is, there is no way. They have U-turned three times in a row. There's no way they weren't doing it again. Yeah, this is this person loves to overpredict. They go to Togekiss this time. I should have uh, definitely knocked off there. Oh, I did. I thought I clicked Giga Drain. Okay, great. So you take off the boots on that thing. That's handy. Um, I'll go to T-Tart. I don't think it really fears anything from this Togekiss. Even the Dazzling Gleam set, it'll really shrug off. Thunder Wave, I don't care. Uh, I'll get up Stealth Rock to help against all these flying types that we've been seeing. Um, not to mention, if we can get that Goldurk. Nah, I think I think we're very, very close actually to Exegel Sweeping already. Um, this thing is definitely swapping out again, man. Oh, it's Weather Balling, finally. Okay, <laughs> I thought it's U-turned a trillion times. There's no way. Uh, we get a bad roll on the Rock Blast, but we've gotten pretty lucky this game so far, so I, I will not be complaining about that. I'll go to Tangrowth. They might read me with the Hurricane here. They don't, but that's more than I thought. This thing is not got Spadef. That's, that was a bad play. Um, but I'll refresh and go to T-Tar because it will definitely take the Rock-type uh, Weather Ball. Uh, they Roost instead. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna take everything else. Um, the question is who they swap to here. I'm gonna guess the Magneton, so I'm gonna double switch to the Exedrill on the Magneton. Um, they're gonna U-turn. Okay, that'll invite in the Gudra. Um, I gotta imagine everything else seems like it wouldn't be great. It's a leftovers Gudra, so I don't think I really fear much from this thing either. I'll just rip it Earthquake. Should be two at KO, yeah. Um, I'm guessing it's a Salt Vest. Don't burn. Burns us. That sucks. This is our Wincon. Maybe I risked it a little bit needlessly, but. Um, this is still in a range of killing. I could Earthquake again and kill it, but I think a Pelipper swap is somewhat in the cards. Um, or I could go to Reuniclus. Reuniclus is looking good too at this point. Um, Iron Head isn't doing much versus Pelipper, so if it's going to Pelipper, I want to do a double switch. So I guess I'll do that, because Reuniclus can be fine in this situation too. Uh, Togekiss comes out. Um, I wonder if they'll start going for cheese. I'm going to go to Tyranitar to prevent that. Leftovers means we can get up to some decent health here. Um, I wonder if they swap again. Rock Blast seems very good if they end up swapping to Pelipper again. But I think I'm just going to go for rocks. Are they going to try to Paraflinch me? With Paralyze, that was not a bad play. Um, but it's going to work out against them. 
Um, Togekiss is looking okay because it could paraflinch everything, really. Um, I could rest and recover HP here, but I, I, I honestly don't love my chances. Actually, if I've got leftovers, I think I'm fine. I'm gonna rest. Um, that's the funny thing about this Tyrantar's like meta set nowadays is rest because you just want to be able to keep it healthy so you can keep getting up uh, weather over and over again, which is really cool. Uh, I'll burn off one rest turn there. I'll burn off another here. Pelipper's gonna come out. Do I want to sack Tangrowth? I think I do. Then I'll just go back to Titar. It's been asleep two turns. I can get a Brox again. And then I can um, Thunder Wave the Togekiss swap in. No, I think it's going to be a Magneton here. Um, I think they're U-turning though. Yeah, I would have gone to Exodrill, but they, they would have seen that through the U-turn. Um, weird team for my opponent, but it's working out so far. And okay, really weird play that they did that there. Um, I have nothing to fear from this thing. They missed the Thunder Wave, but I think that was a mistake play because this Rock Blast is going to do a lot. Um, we're not getting a two at this time either. We get pretty lucky there. Will that bait a roost? That's fine. I should Thunder Wave myself at this point, honestly. I don't know why I'm not. It's not even running Heal Bell. Um, that'll, that's a good roll. So they're just going to roost again. Oh, they're just going to defog finally. Okay. We hit our own Thunder Wave. I can kill this thing or I can get up Stealth Rock. Um, I'm going to get up Stealth Rock. If they roost, then I'm just going to kill them the next turn with Rock Blast. If we miss, we miss. <laughs> but they get full parrot, so it works out. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Rock Blast RNG is a fickle creature, but I think all in all, we've gotten away very okay with it. Pelper finally comes out again. Um, I think we can trade hits here, but I want to keep the Exadrill alive just because Magneton is going to be a problem for the most part. Although, if I get up one Quiver Dance at this point and it's not in rain, I think I just about win. I don't know. This Pelper's kind of weird. Um... I can take one weather ball. Yeah. And then this thing's dead. And then I can get up the uh, sand next time. Three hit. Okay. We're, man, we are getting lucky with Rock Blast. Rock Blast is a beautiful move. Uh, okay. Magneton's going to come out now. I'm going to go to Reuniclus. It's not doing too much anymore, anyways. If they kill, they kill. Um, okay. Who are they going to go to this time? They're going to go to Golurk. I will go to. Uh, I guess Volcarona. Ah, this is messy though. Because Titar, it, it wouldn't have done. Titar wouldn't have done much with uh, Rock Blast. Extra wouldn't have done much when it was burnt. And Flamethrower isn't going to be doing too much in the rain. So it was weird. Um, I guess I'll Quiver Dance. I, I don't even know if I live a Poltier guys from this range. Um, this is actually such a weird situation because I don't know what the play is here. Maybe go T-Tar to get rid of the sand and then do some Volcarona stuff. I don't know. I still think if I even chip this thing down to like 40%, maybe Exodrill can do it then. If it stays asleep this turn, I think we win. Okay, I think we win. That was weird. That was that was all very messy and weird. Um, but we are going to win there. We are we are looking like at the end of the lives. I think I'll close it there. Uh, GG to my opponent. Um... I hope you guys enjoy the team. I'm definitely gonna be playing with this some more. I've been playing it all weekend, honestly. It's so fun. Um, I recommend you try it. Again, it's in the, in the description. Shout out to Umbreon097. I tried to reach out to them multi, multiple times to see if they were okay with me posting it. I gotta hope they were. Uh, just shouting them out. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you next time.